Hi everyone, welcome back to another uh, update on the Spectrum game creation tool. As I mentioned in the last uh, update that I was planning to, in in the uh, interim, work on improving the undo, redo um, integration, so try and get more and more of the editing features enabled for undo, redo, which I've done a lot of. I'll show you some of those in a moment. Uh, and look at some colour stuff, which I have managed to do, um, albeit with some problems problems but I'll, uh, I'll go into those. So on the undo, redo, um, most things are in there now so if we add um, sprites you can see that that all undoes and redoes properly. If you select a sprite you can paint and the undo works within there too. Um, uh, masking, I've moved these buttons over here and given them a little bit more of a meaningful um, appearance rather than just uh, M and P. So this is for painting colour and this is for painting a mask. So if we paint something like an interesting shape and then um, actually let's clear some out in the middle out there. Shape the mask so you can you can do the mask in there uh, and all around the outside and the undo should work for all of them. Uh, in the objects similar thing you can add objects undo the add addition of objects. Um, if you've got an, ad, uh, an object selected and you add animation frames you can undo that too. Um, adding animation frames and setting the uh, animation all undoes perfectly. All reasonably well at the moment. Um, rooms similarly if you create a room let's actually create an object so that we've got something to put into the room can drag the object around and it undoes properly and redoes positioning wise. If you add uh, some tiles and do some painting, um, the undo works in there too and redo. Um, I'll get into this in a moment. This is all the colour stuff that I was uh, uh, talking about so I've done a lot of changes to support um, colouring uh, the tile maps within the rooms. Um, maps as well. So if we drag a room, uh, not much to see because it's, uh, we didn't paint much in there, but uh, yeah, you can see if I do that, the undo redo works on there too, as well as with um, moving objects around in the global space. So the only thing that hasn't been uh, enabled for undo yet is the logic. So you can't undo and redo in here. It doesn't work at the moment. But um, I've got some changes I want to make in the uh, logic editor anyway. So I didn't bother putting that in just yet. But that's the only thing that hasn't been enabled. Undo is, is uh, enabled across the board for everything else. So the other area that I've been working on, as I said, is colour. So if I open up a... Um, one that I've made before, um, a standard test scene. You can see we've got some new features in the uh, in the room editor. So these are uh, this is a standard spectrum uh, palette. It's the colours are chosen, I think, to match as close as I can um, the actual spectrum colours uh, with the brightness uh, on a separate flag because. Uh, various things you can't you can't have different brightness ink and paper so you apply color ink and paper and then uh, toggle the brightness for the entire cell so the way it works at the moment is you've got this uh, palette of, of colors and you select them and the ink and the paper color so left and right button chooses the ink and paper color which are uh, displayed here so for example if I set the ink to red and the paper to yellow and then start painting you start to get um, the colour on the map. So if I just colour this one in quickly, I do plan to put some more tools into all of these uh, editors to make it a little bit easier to do things like this. So there'll be some tools for um, rectangle, fill, that sort of thing. But for now, it's just simple painting. 
just to get things started. So that's now saved. It saves it as a separate element in the room, so it hasn't actually assigned any color to the, to the tiles at all. The tiles are still just black and white, but the attribute map is stored separately. This means I can, in the future, enable um, multiple different attribute maps for uh, the same room, so you can reuse the room with different colors uh, very efficiently. So I'll just show very quickly the way this works in the in the code. So where you had before in each room you've got this map which is uh, a string of uh, the tile rows which are used in the engine to print the, the tiles, the UDGs. Uh, we've now got this additional one, attributes, which is a bunch of codes that set the colors um, on, on each cell, background, foreground color and the brightness. So when we export this, if everything goes according to plan, bear with me a moment, and then build it, um, and open it up in the emulator, we should hopefully see some color in the uh, in the exported game. Okay. So now we have the ability to do color. It does do brightness. I didn't show brightness there. I'll show it in a moment, but um, that, that should all work. And as I say, the idea is to keep it as efficient as possible by keeping the attribute map separate. So I can reuse that room, or you can reuse that room in another place with maybe purple bricks or, or whatever. So just to quickly show, if you switch the um, brightness flag on and then paint over you can see it paints in bright uh, it might not be easy to see on the on the video but it, it is working and of course the undo works in the attribute painting as well that's all integrated so that's where it is for now uh, hopefully I have another update next week um, planning to do a bit more on maybe color with sprites um, and think about the uh, the idea of having different color maps for the room um, other than that I'm not sure where I'm gonna go next but uh, I'll, I'll be back next week don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep keep up to date with what I'm doing on this and uh, and be informed when the new new videos come out thank you